वेलकम टू जसी एस्ट्रो सो इन दिस पैथन ट्यूटोरियल फॉर एस्ट्रोनॉमी वी विल बी यूजिंग अस्पेक यूटेल्स पैथन पैकेज टू रीड फिट्स फाइल स्पेक्ट्रा एंड वी विल बी आल्सो लर्न हाउ टू प्लॉट इट सो बेसिकली स्पेक्ट्रा इज योर फ्लॉक्स वर्सेज योर वेबलेथ सो लेट्स डू इट ओके सो फॉर डूइंग दैट वी नीड टू इंस्टॉल वी नीड टू इम्पोर्ट सम लाइब्रेरी सो इम्पोर्ट library so will be import uh, astro pipe fix file okay so from astro pi dot io import feeds okay so this will be like used to read used to deal with feeds file now will be also uh, using numpy and matplotlib so import numpy as in p so this will take care of your array and also import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so this will be like used for plotting now now uh, our job is to like read fits file okay so now here read and open fits file okay so for reading fits file in your directory there should be a fits file already present okay and if you don't know then you can watch my this video and you can learn that how to download css spectra from website okay so now read fits file okay so for that you can type here say file equal to fits dot open and give here your file name as a string so file name dot fits so in my case i have fits file you can Here this aspect of its file, so uh, this will read its file. Now type file and run the code and see uh, what you will get. Okay, so here you can see that there are some. Uh, Run data unit in that primary bin table and SD table. So let's uh, get information about that. So type info and run it. Okay, so here can you can see a better view. So that you have SDU primary coed and aspect object and these are datas and so our aspect is in like. Uh, Coed uh, SDU. I mean, its uh, serial number is one. So you can obtain. Okay, so our spectra is in Coed SDU. So and uh, which is one. Okay. So for that, we need to access a uh, first SDU. Basically, a uh, second because zero is like one. Okay, so you can type here data equal to data equal to data equal to file, and you can give one for one for uh, this squared. And then you can type data. Okay. Now, if you type data, see what it is giving. You can see this. This is like some uh, values in that flux, uh, log lamp, log wave length. These things are they are given. You can also get uh, hidden information about that. So you can type here. Um, get 
consider information so just type here command file uh, one dot header and run it so here you can see that it's your flux value and your wavelet values in a log of uh, wavelet there are things like your uh, invariance and those things have been given now we have uh, also got the header now uh, we will extract now extract flux and wavelength okay flux and wavelength so for that you can give here say flux equal to uh, data and type here say flux okay so this will give your flux run it see your flux value and uh, similarly you can also get your uh, wavelength so for that type wave and and you can go here so your wavelength is like on the log scale so you have to type tn raised to data and then log wavelength okay so this will like read your wavelength you can turn it this is your wavelength okay you can also attach unit to that okay so for that uh, you to go here and um, attach unit for that so from that uh, from import from astropy astropy uh, import import units units as u and also you can um, import quantity support uh, that how to plot on the axis so from astropy astropy from astropy dot dot visualization import support support quantity quantity support reverse way quantity quantity support to show on the axis that uh, flux and wavelength are in, are in which unit so in HSS uh, your flux is like arg per hundred square per second per angstrom and uh, your wavelength is in angstrom unit ok so let's uh, do the unit and ok so like this will add unit Add unit to data and then you can also import here a quantity support okay quantity support you can run it what is mistake import there should be import now it's fine now so add unit okay so you can add unit dot you can add uh, so flux is in like in the unit of uh, a star ten raised to minus seventeen a star u dot so for the unit type u dot unit and then pass your 
स्ट्रिंग एज अट सो अर्ग सेंटीमीटर पर सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड एंड देन पर एंगस्ट्रम सिमिलरली यू कैन ऑल्सो टाइप द यूनिट ऑफ एवलेंथ इज योर यू डॉट एंगस्ट्रम सो के ए नाउ इफ यू टाइप हियर फ्लक्स सो यू कैन सी द यूनिट एंड इन द सेम वे इफ यू टाइप वेव can see that in the stream unit okay so this will like attach unit to those uh, variable now we want to simply plot okay using a spectrum on d so uh, add here from a spec utils import import a spectrum mod okay a spectrum mod so this will like uh, create a, uh, a spectrum that your both your flux and wavelength in a single uh, uh, table and you can plot it okay so for that type here type here a spec and then you can give your a spectrum type here a spectrum 1d let's get capital a spectrum spectrum 1d and then pass your uh values so a spectral axis so you can type here mm, a spectral underscore underscore axis so your x axis is your wavelength so you can give wave now uh so why is it your flux so you can give flux as flux so this will like get your spectrum 1d and now we have to plot it okay so run it what is wrong i think we run the whole code mm. spectrum 1d c okay so there is oh there is a c okay this is wrong and the spectral axis this will be l now it's fine okay so if you type here a spec then you can see that your spectra has been merged in like in a single uh, a variable uh, for uh, flux and for the wavelength now you can extract okay with the, with the units so for that so like uh, this will put Spectra in single um, variable, single variable with unit. Okay. Now you can extract. Okay. So for that you can extract. Uh, this uh, web and then flux now plot it okay so you can also extract if you type here a spec dot spectral axis so run it so you got here your wavelength okay so
similarly you can also get aspect dot clocks so you also get a clocks okay so this way you can uh, extract extract from a spectrum uh, one D. now you want to plot it okay so now plot it now for plotting I type here plt dot A spectra, uh, but uh, its units are not showing. Okay, so for that, uh, can check it. There should be function. Now run it. Okay, so here you can see that you got your flux uh, in this unit and wavelength in the units of angstrom okay so this is your spectra uh, is in say observer frame okay observer frame okay you can make a title so like plt dot title so plt dot title and give a string as a spectra in of jerbar of jerbar frame observer frame okay so this i got now suppose uh, you want to uh, zoom this spectra so add here percentage macro cliff uh, widget run it so like this you like add some buttons and you can like layer the spectra in much better way like you can zoom some portion of it you can see the lines very clearly and also the zoom portion of the spectra you can go back you can also like display the spectra up down and left right so this way you can do go to back and here you can see that there are some lines two three lines are there so you can like zoom the spectra and you can see now this spectra is in like in, in your like moving frame observe what power see that see the moving frame now suppose you want to uh, Okay, so now uh, in order to plot a spectral nearest frame, you need to like find find uh, its relative. Okay, so find the relative Z, and for that type here say data two equal to uh, phi two 
dot data in the space or uh, i mean go in the go in go into a spec object uh, sdu and then you can find your data two and then give z okay z is your data shift so this will give red shift as z now run it so here you can see that this is your red shift you open j01 okay so you can copy it and then basically you have to like uh, <coughs> you have to like divide your uh, okay so for getting spectra in uh, rest frame you have to you have to like you have to shift a uh, wavelength as wavelength divided by 1 plus z okay so this will like do the work okay so just you can plot it here copy paste it mm. here everything and do it here and maybe you can uh, divide by 1 plus zero point so this value you can take it zero point zero one let's see is it uh, working and code as a rest frame okay so here you can see that this is in the rest frame okay you can also like uh, check the positions so you can check it where this is peak, peak is your around mm, 6575 and here you can see that your peak will be a little bit shifted around 6649 so this way you can plot a spectra in the a spectra in the rest frame of the uh, galaxy so I hope you got the idea that how to plot a spectra of a galaxy from a Fitz file, how to uh, extract its spectral axis, uh, say wavelength and the flux, and how to plot using uh, a spectrum of 1D library. So this is for spectra dealing okay so uh, i hope you got the idea that how to read a spectra from a fits file using astropy and uh, how to extract the data from the sdu and how to get the header information and like how to get uh, data for the flux or the wavelength and how to add unit to this quantity and also how to like clump in a spectrum monty in a single uh, variable and then plot it on a simple plot you can also make it a step plot if you want a step plot or you can give say color equal to red so you can see that your spectral will in the steps you can zoom it so you can see that there is a step is going on so same thing will not be happening in uh, this so like there will be like lines